Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome into another LEGO news video. I, this is kind of different, not really a news of new sets coming up, but I wanted to talk about something. Uh, today LEGO released their performance report of how they did for the first half of 2019 today and there's some pretty interesting stuff that I wanted to talk about and what it kind of means for the future of LEGO and what we'll be seeing because uh, if you didn't know LEGO sets are typically developed like a whole year in advance so I'm not really sure if this has had any effect on like what's coming out in 2020 but anyways I'm just going to talk about really the most important and most interesting stuff uh, and it's actually the top selling themes for the first half of the year and you know what? It's pretty good. It's it's a mix that they say here of uh, IPs, which is uh, intellectual properties like Star Wars and Marvel and Batman and stuff, as well as their own uh, homegrown is what they're calling it. So you've got your city creator and stuff and uh, any hidden side, all that's made by Lego. So it's not something that they have to pay uh, a fee for to use and make sets off of. But anyways, in no particular order, it says you've got Lego City, Creator, Friends, Ninjago, Technic, Star Wars, as well, for the first time in my recollection, Marvel Avenger sets performed especially strongly. That's the, that's the exact quote. And Lego Movie 2 products also contributed to consumer sales growth, which is really, really awesome. And, uh, you know, what does this mean for the future of Marvel superheroes? Well, hopefully that means that they might be realizing that, hey, there is a really important market here and that these sets are selling well. And maybe we should be putting a little bit more effort into the figure designs and such. So what that might mean is that they might start making new face prints again, like they used Used to do for like the first few waves of Marvel sets instead of reusing past faces for different characters like Scott Lang and Peter Parker that are from Harry Potter as well as reusing faces from like Star Wars and such so it's a, it's important and I think that it's really exciting to see that this is being listed here specifically they even have a picture here on their report which I think is really important to note um, so that's really exciting that Marvel Avengers is doing well. And what does that mean for the future? Well, like I just said, new face prints maybe, uh, more sets in general, I'm hoping. Um, because if you look, you know, we're getting a lot of sets for 2020, but it might not really have anything to do with that because like I said at the beginning, sets typically take a year to be in development. So it's not like they realized that these sets were selling really well and they went, all right, we're going to add three more sets to the Avengers. So... But regardless, we're still getting a lot this coming January, so that's really exciting. And I'm hoping that we might be getting the same love and attention that Star Wars seems to get with dual molding, new head molds and elements and pieces that they design, arm printing and such. So it's just really exciting. And I'm hoping that that means that, who knows, maybe maybe we'll be getting more games and stuff or just an expansion upon the theme. So that, that gets me really excited. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this news? I, for one, I'm really happy that Avengers did well. Of course, it has a lot to do with Endgame. Uh, if it wasn't the success that it was this year, I don't think that really the sets would have sold as well or anything. But uh, anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this quick little news video. And I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.